So now that we're in 2020, what do I consider to be the GPU of the decade from 2010 to 2019? Well, let's find out now. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment below. I want to know what you think the GPU of the decade is and if you agree with my assertion. So let's get right down to it. The GPU of the decade, that's the last 10 years, is going to be the 1080 Ti. Now, I consider this GPU to be absolutely amazing. I'm going to give you five different reasons why I really think it's still good today, as well as being the GPU of the past decade. So reason number one why the 1080 Ti is so good, that's going to come down to the performance. Even today, if you buy a 1080 Ti, it's going to keep up with even a 2080. It has absolutely stellar performance. When it came out a few years ago, it was at the top of the food chain. Very few graphics cards, aside from a few niche cards, like maybe the Titan series, were a little bit better than it. But when you compare other things, including the price, that comparison quickly comes down in favor of the 1080 Ti. Even if you get a 1080 Ti today, the performance is absolutely stellar. The only thing you're kind of missing out on is going to be the RTX ray tracing, which honestly is not really a big deal yet. It's still in its early stages of implementation, and yeah, sure, in the future it's going to be more prevalent, and it's going to be more important for these GPUs, but as we stand now, not that many games really use ray tracing, and when they do, take for example Battlefield 5, you definitely get a really big FPS performance penalty. The second reason why I consider the 1080 Ti so good, and that's going to come down to the price. Let's talk about the price that it used to be. $699 for a top tier GPU that remained on top for so many years. I mean, compared to today, you can see that the 2080 Ti is twice that price almost. So the 1080 Ti definitely presented itself as being an awesome price at the time. Of course, when they came out, you think, oh, $699, that's expensive for a GPU as prices slowly crept up. But in hindsight, looking at the performance and longevity of this GPU on the market, we can really see why this GPU is an absolute beast of a GPU. That's not a bad price at all. And if you're looking for one in 2020, you can find these used somewhere in like the $400 range, which presents itself as an absolutely amazing value proposition. I mean, you're not going to be able to get anything near this performance for that price. Like I said, the only thing you're going to miss out on is maybe a little bit of ray tracing if you're sort of on that cutting edge, but that technology is still a little bit too new and most games don't take advantage of it and it's really not well optimized even for the hardware that does, so you're not really missing much. So if you're still in the market for a powerful GPU at a pretty fair price, I think the 1080 Ti definitely deserves your consideration, even in 2020. The third reason why I consider the 1080 Ti one of the best cards of all time is its versatility. I love putting water blocks on GPUs, and there's no other GPU that seems to take quite as much advantage of having a water block on it as a 1080 Ti. Uh, so yeah, sure, you can put a water block on something like a 1070 or a 2070 even, but it just seems like the 1080 Ti was the perfect sweet spot of price to performance. Anytime you put a water block on something, it's going to increase your overclocking headroom as well as give you much better thermals and I always thought that the 1080 Ti was exemplary. For example if you put a water block on a Titan card yeah you're gonna get more performance it's gonna do better but you're gonna spend a tremendous amount of money to do that as the Titans are generally much more expensive than the Ti version and that kind of erases that value proposition a little bit but the 1080 Ti I really feel like is the versatile sweet spot even if you're air cooling it regularly with its cooler or with the third-party cooler or if you're doing water cooling. The fourth reason why I think the 1080 Ti is such a beast is that it can be used in literally varying different applications without any issue. First, of course, it's gaming. It's an absolute killer in gaming, keeping up with even the high-end 2080 cards of today. It's also amazing for content creation. And of course, let's not forget the often looked down upon mining era of GPUs. The 1080 Ti was always in constant demand. Like literally people would have whole mining farms with this card. And that's because it presented one of the best performances relative to sort of its power draw and its heat. Um, so that's testament to why it's such a great GPU in varying cases. And the last reason why I think the 1080 Ti is such a fantastic GPU 
for some reason, it's still been able to stay sort of in like the heart of gamers. A lot of times you'll have hardware release that's too expensive and people really hate it off the bat. They never like it, it never warms up. But the 1080 Ti seems to be like one of those cards that when it came out, people were in awe of its performance. And as time went on, they became to appreciate more and more sort of the versatility of the card as well as the performance it was producing for the price. When the 20 series came out, it became even more clear because these new graphics cards didn't have quite the performance leap we were expecting and people were looking at their 1080 Ti's and thinking this is still an amazing graphics card. Usually when the generation changes things are outdated a lot faster so the 1080 Ti really retained its crown even going into the 20 series cards. So even today it's a fantastic card. So if we juxtapose all of these different elements that we've spoken about, I really think it creates a fantastic graphics card that's still extremely viable even if you purchase one today. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you like my content, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.